Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded video. The hot and hazy update is on its way, but right now we can test a few things out. Using some mods and tools, I'm going to show you guys the weaknesses of the Broodmother against the new elemental damage types added to the game, including what's best. Is it going to be a club? Is it going to be a hammer? Is it going to be a sword? What is the best weapon to deal with the Broodmother? And what is the best damage type? Do leave a like, go and check out the rest of my grounded content for more guides, tutorials, and let's go. So I'm not here to waste your time. The best weapons that you can use for taking on the Broodmother are going to be clubs and any kind of weapon that does slashing damage. I've got an ant club here, it's upgraded to level 7 and I've put spicy on it and that's the damage type that the Broodmother hates the most, spicy. You can see with the club I'm nearly doing around 80% of one of the segments there of damage. So that's not bad for a tier 2 weapon like the red ant club as well obviously with that fully upgradedness. I am in god mode, I am using cheats just to show you different skies and really go through all different ones. But that doesn't mean that's the only thing you can use. So now I'm just showing you guys that with salt equipped to a level 7 club, it's not doing the same amount of damage. Although it's still fairly decent, but that's down to the club being used. And then you can see with the fresh applied to this club, again it's doing about the same sort of damage as the salty does. Each hit is doing around 50% or maybe 40% of a grid. So with three hits, you'll do one grid where it only took maybe one and a half or two hits with the spicy attribute actually active. As of about five days before the update came out, after around two hot fixes on the PTS servers, this is where the stats lay. So this is what I'm expecting at full release. If you're a little confused about these damage types, you haven't maybe seen some of my other content, go and check it out as I've explained fully how to max upgrade all of your weapons with the different types of foods like the spicy chachas, the fresh mints and of course quartzite and salt. And follow me on Twitch where you can see me actually recording this live. If you don't know all one-handed and two-handed swords, they will all give you slashing damage. And the Broodmother is more fragile against slashing damage as well. Pretty much the same level as the generic damage or club damage. I'm using the new Ant Sword here, so I expect it to be pretty OP since it's a level 3 item. You can see it's absolutely ripping the Broodmother to shreds and I have got the spicy attribute on it as well. Whereas the Ant Club took around 24-25 hits, you're looking at only 16 if you've got an actual ant lion sword instead. But remember, they both need to have spicy on them. Check out what happened when I started using the ant lion sword, but with the fresh on it. We're still shredding the broodmother, but you can see it's nowhere near as effective as the one with the spicy. All in all, it took around 38 hits to take out the broodmother, or maybe even more, 41. And pretty much salt was the same, it didn't do as much damage as fresh and it certainly didn't do as much as spicy. What was really good was using just a fully upgraded sword with just the quartzite. So getting it to level 7, pretty much applying mighty damage to it all the way. If you don't know, all swords have slashing damage on it, but I was adding obviously the mighty buff that you get to it. You're going to need to upgrade with your Quartzite Globlets to do that. And you can see it's ripping it apart. And in actual fact, it does just as much damage in a quicker time as the Spice. It was about 16 hits to defeat the Broodmother with the Spicy and the Mighty buff applied to an Antlion Sword. So, that's the best weapons. Use either a slashing damage weapon like a Black Ant Sword, a two-handed Antlion Sword, or go ahead and find generic weapons, which is basically clubs, so the Ant Club. Not hammers. Do not use a hammer on it, because apparently hammers are not the big one to go for. The Broodmother will not respond very well to it. Yes, you can still stun them, and you will get the chance to do that usually once at least, but it still means you can use a lot of hits. In actual fact, hammers are now the worst damage type to be using against the Broodmother. Take a look, I've got a level 5 upgraded Mint Mallet and it took a huge amount of hits to get this guy down. They're changing the Mint Mallet as well, it doesn't look like it's going to give the fresh breath as soon as you start upgrading it, I think it transforms it into Mighty Damage instead. So Mighty Damage is still good, but it's probably not the best thing to equip onto a Mint Mallet. Save your Mint Mallet for other creatures and put Mighty Damage on an Ant Club and you'll do much better. 
Bear in mind as well that the mint mallet, you can't change it. You can't get to level five and then choose to put chili on it or any of the other ones or spicy on it. It still remains mighty. You can only upgrade it to level seven mighty. So to put that into perspective again, a spicy ant club will take care of the brood mother within around 25 hits. A fully upgraded level seven mint mallet is around 35 hits. The other damage type that the Broodmother can handle easily now is obviously piercing damage, which you get through spears. So don't use a spear to try and take on the Broodmother. It might be a bit obvious. I know there's lots of pros out there that can beat the Broodmother easily because they've learned how to perfect parry almost everything. But this is a level seven spicy upgraded spear, a B1. And you can see it's taking quite a substantial amount of hits, requiring at least four or five hits just to get rid of one segment. Interestingly as well, if you go ahead with just the mighty on top of the spear, that also isn't as strong, believe it or not. If you actually apply that fully upgraded spear, again, it's still not going to do as much damage. In fact, it was pretty much the same as the fresh and salty attack damage. So it's only in this situation, if you're desperate, use a spear to take on the Broodmother. You can, of course, rely on a bit more critical hit chance, and if you combine that with some of the mutations, you might have a better chance as well. But I would still say it's much easier to get a level 2 ant club and use that instead. And finally, more of a joke, just to show the other damage type, which is chopping, which supposedly works on knives and axes. And you can see a level 5 chopping tier 2 axe isn't that bad. Upgrade that axe to a level 7 and you're going to do a little bit more damage, but not a huge amount. It seems that the jump from 5 to 7 isn't as great. It really is more about helping with the durability of a weapon or a tool. Yes, it does increase the damage, but only a slight amount. And finishing off with some bow and arrow action now, which in terms of the arrows. Now, obviously, yes, spicy arrows are going to be the best. But first, just normal basic feather arrows, which obviously you can craft a lot easier now because there's more feathers lying around the backyard with the hot and hazy update. And you can see two arrows, nearly three, gets rid of the first grid, and it's about two arrows to get rid of one grid. I seemingly missed that first shot, but here we go, one, and then one more, and that usually takes care of one grid. Now let's try the salt arrows, just to give you a base reference. So one, two three four you can see it's usually around four arrows to get another grid down now the mint arrows as well and it should be pretty much the same as the salt ones one two about three actually so maybe slightly better but not by much now of course the spicy arrows one you can see one arrow does nearly a whole grid definitely more than the salty and the fresh and of course more than just the simple feather arrows on their own but that's not always the case some of the other creatures actually take more damage from just plain feather arrows than they will spicy salty or fresh also bear in mind as well i'm using just a very plain crossbow yes they're still op but definitely in terms of using it against him it wasn't a massively upgraded one Still not the ideal weapon to go against this guy. He moves too quickly, and I think the crossbow is still a bit too slow to take him on. But yeah, there you go. 